How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the vlog. It is Saturday, September 18th. It is 4.41 in the morning right now. I'm here at the gas station and truck stop nearby because um, I, I just dropped off my dad. There's his semi, that blue one there. Blue Kenworth T600 right there. That's his um, farm truck. Basically what happened was um, he, uh, start, he, him and the guys were har using their equipment to harvest another guy's crops for him this weekend. And they started yesterday. And basically my dad hauled one load of corn up to Cedar Rapids, Iowa yesterday. And then he, uh, right now he's loaded with another load in his trailer, in the hopper trailer. Um, in that trailer right there, the hopper trailer. Um, and there's the truck again, I'll show you. But, uh, so he, uh, had me come, he just used the semi and he was coming this way anyway. So we just parked the semi here at the truck stop and had me come up and pick him up last night. And so I just, uh, dropped him off. I'm waiting for him to give me the go ahead to go. He just wanted me to wait until he made sure that the semi was running. Um... Before we begin, he told me when he flashes his trailer lights. There he goes. Okay. So, he just flashes trailer lights at me. He's just firing up the truck, letting it uh, build up air pressure. So, I'll show you now. So, that's the situation there. Um, so, he is going to be hauling corn today. He even told me himself, I, I, would, take, I would take you with me today. But, last night... We had a situation arise. When I came up here to the gas station to pick up my dad, I noticed something, and if and I cannot let it stand idly by. I did not expect this to happen, but when something like this happens, you kind of got to do it, you know. Um, I can't really show you right now because I am driving. I'm I'm just now leaving the parking lot, um, but. Um, I'll show you guys when I get home. My passenger side headlight is out. So um, I'm gonna take you guys along with me today. I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you guys the steps. I'm kind of gonna be taking you guys along. I might go back down and get a little bit more sleep if I can. Generally, once I'm up, I'm up, but considering I haven't even been up an hour yet, um, I had to be up at four, um, I should be able to doze off at least for a little while get a little bit more sleep around 7 7 30 I'm gonna go out when the sun's up and uh, so I have daylight so I can see and I'm gonna start tearing that apart and I'm gonna act quickly the car parts store opens at 7 30 so as soon as I get it tore open and I see for a fact if I need another bulb I'm gonna head down there um, so that I can get that bulb get it fixed because, like I said, my dad said he would let me ride with him today. I didn't even ask him. I was thinking about asking him, but he, he beat me to the punch this morning, and he said I'd let you ride with me, but, you know, it's going to be going up there to sit at the parking lot to unload the corn sometimes takes a while, and he says, I know you got to work on your car today, so that wouldn't give you time to do that. And I says, yeah. I says, that'd be fun, but I says, I guess when something like this pops up unexpectedly, you kind of have to do it. So... Um, changing the light bulb isn't too too hard in this thing. Um, the headlights are a little bit of a pain because you got to take out the whole system, undo a little cap, uh, undo a little metal clip, and then the bulb will slide right out. Um, so I'm just pulling into the driveway now. When I get home, I will show you um, the out bulb. So I'm going to go ahead and get parked up here real quick, guys, and I'll show you. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, a lot has gone down. I haven't really done anything fun until basically today um, because it's just been working. I got my job back at the grocery store and I worked all week and man, it's been fun. I have loved it. It's been so good. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I just parked in front of the garage before I shut off the car. Let me turn off my fan. I'll show you guys. This is what we're dealing with here. You can see here, I've got a headlight out. That's the problem. The high beam works on this side and the blinker works and everything, 
but it needs to look like this. And it doesn't, it looks like this. So that's what we're dealing with today. I just gotta, pretty much I just gotta pull it out and change the bulb. So, turn off the car here. Alrighty folks, we are home. So, I um, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm gonna go ahead and head on in and chill, at least chill out, if not get a little bit of shut eye. And then around 7 o'clock, 7.30 this morning, I'm gonna come on out. Oh, I left my light on in there. But I'm going to head in and get some shut eye, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. I got to show you guys the farm truck um, that I'll probably be in tomorrow. I'm gonna ask him if I can go tomorrow since my car will be fixed and I have the weekend off. Reach back in here. There we go. There we are. Now we're cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and head on in, guys, and I'll catch you guys when I'm working on the car. All right, good morning again. Uh, it is just after seven o'clock right now. I'm coming out here to start working on the headlight. And another beautiful Iowa sunrise with the horses out here. Hello, guys. Look at how beautiful that sunrise is. Just absolutely beautiful. There's nothing like it, I'm telling you. The sun set last night too when I went to go get pick up dad last night was really cool too. Okay. So, I remember last time I worked on my headlight, my driver's side one, I had to use a YouTube video. YouTube is a wonderful thing. Pop my hood. So, we're gonna pop the hood and I gotta see what I need. So, in order to take the headlight off, what we gotta do is we gotta take this guy, take this bolt out, and that's the main arm that holds this fixture on. And I remember, if I remember correctly, I had to mess with these. Um, I had to, like this one's still kinda loose because I couldn't retighten it right. Um, so I could move the plastic a little bit back so that I could uh, kick the fixture out. Because then you can see, this is the driver's side. Actually, that cap came off. Actually, there's this cap here. That's the cap that goes in that uh, conceals the bulb. I'll show you on this side. Yeah, that cap kind of came off on the driver's side. Here's the cap right here that we got to unscrew in order to get to our light. Let me see if I can re-screw that cap back on. Oh, maybe I can't. It's okay. It's tight on there. Don't know why there's a gap there, but that's okay, I suppose. So, I need to get a socket and a ratchet. These aren't even actual, like, screws. They look like Phillips screws, but they're just, like, plastic uh, things. You just pull, and they have a little wings on the bottom that they clip on. So, they don't, they're not necessarily screws. But, um, and I think, if I remember correctly, there's another bolt on the inside somewhere, I do believe. So I'm gonna open up the garage and get the tools that I need. I'm gonna, I gotta pretty much just, uh, I think, I believe it's a size 10. If I don't know what size, I try to guesstimate what it's gonna be, and then I kinda go from there. So, and honestly, where I'm parked, I have the, I have the skid loader right next to me. So I'm gonna, so I can prop my phone up on the skid loader and you guys can see me work. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my tools out and I wanna get this done. I wanna get this done so I can get that off my mind. I can say I got the car done and it's ready to rock and roll so that if I, so that I can go with my dad tomorrow and help haul harvest. So I'm gonna do that guys. Let's work on this headlight. I've got the big bolt off and I've got the screws off so I have my leeway. I'm taking this interior bolt off right now. I'm, I got it loose enough that I can unscrew it with my fingers here. And I'm taking it off so that I have access to it. 
So now in theory, this guy should pop right out. Aha! So now we have the light off. In order to take it completely off, I'd unplug it, but I think today I'm not gonna unplug it, I think. I think I'm just gonna unscrew the cap, take the cap off. There's a plug I gotta pull here, pull the plug off. correctly. You know what? I am going to unplug it. All right. So I've got the light completely off now. That didn't take me very long. I'm going to use the back end of the skid loader here as a plate for me. Let me grab the cap. So here it is. Here's the, there's, here's the hole where the, out, the top bolt goes on. Here's where I took the screws off so I could pry the plastic. And right in there is the hole for the little bolt. And then here's the two plug-ins that hold it. So that's all I really had to take out. Three screws, three bolts, and take off the cap. And it ended up lying to me. It wasn't a size 8, it was a size 10. I, I kind of figured it was a size 10, but the bolt said 8. So here, I unplugged the main receiver. And then if I remember correctly, there's this pin in here, this yellow or this metal pin. And I have to pull, oh, I'm trying to remember how we do this. But over here, you can see here, um, it kind of clips down and it's on a hook. You kind of got to push it down, pull it out, so it pops off and voila. Here be our headlight bulb just like that and honestly now that I'm looking at it I don't think I have another one of these I'll check my glove box to be sure but I don't think I have one um, so the bulbs out now you can see where it goes in in there here's the two plug-in receivers I'm gonna ch I'll check my glove box see if I've got one of these if not um, I may see if Tyler will drive me down to the car parts store I mean I drove my when I had to fix my last headlight I just closed the hood and drove, drove it without a receiver in there. So it looked like I had a, a missing eyeball out of my car. But um, today, I think, just to get it over and done with, so I don't gotta worry about moving all my tools, closing the hood, moving it, driving it, bringing it back. I think I'm just gonna see if maybe, if, cause I think, cause Tyler's alarm went off, I'm gonna see if maybe he can get up and drive me down. But just to be safe, I'm gonna check first and get the bulb. Uh, I'm going to check in my glove box, see if I have another one of these guys. I don't think I do, but I'll check just to be safe, just in case I do. Um, I won't have to worry about it. And if I do end up going to the car parts store, I'll probably pick up two of them. Instead of one, just to replace this one, I'll get another one as well on top of that if they have another one on hand. So that if I have another headlight go out, then I know I've got one here on hand. So all i got to do is do that quick repair to undo a couple bolts, uh, take off the receiver. Um, I have to take it, like I said, I have to take off the receiver because the cap and the hole is on the back side. So it's so hard to reach in and pull that bulb out. It's so much easier just to unplug the two parts where it hooks up to the cables to the car and just pull out the whole receiver, the whole, the whole beam, and just pull this out. And this is a dual headlight. It does my high beam and my low beam. So the high beam still works on this guy but not the low beam, so it's a bad bulb. Um, in some vehicles, you have two bulbs, one for the low, one for the high, and they, and you sw and they switch depending on which one you're using. Um, this one is a dual, it does both. So the filament and stuff that runs the low beam must be burnt out. And I can understand why the low beam would go first because you run your lows a lot longer than you run your highs. You know, you run your lows um, if you're coming up on a car at night, you also run your lows if it's kind of raining out and it's foggy, even if you can see. Um, so your lows get used a lot more than your highs. So I'm going to check in my glove box, see if I've got another one of these guys, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, it's now 823. Uh, me and Tyler just got back. Uh, I had him run me down to the car parts store. 
and I picked up a couple headlights. I got two of them, as you can see here. There's the old one that I pulled out. There's the two new ones. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the new one that I obviously need to replace um, in there. And then the other one I am going to leave in the glove box. Um, I'm gonna leave it in its packaging the way it is right now. I'm just gonna leave it sealed. And I'm gonna put it in my glove box so that the next time I have a headlight go out, um, it will, um, I can just use it and just do a quick flip flop. I won't have to worry about running to the car parts store. I've got one um, so that I can fix it the next time. But now I'm going to basically do what I did before, um, basic, but basically in reverse. I'm gonna open up the new bulb, put it in, tighten that metal clip, then I'm gonna put the plug back on that, and then I'm gonna close the cap, and I'm gonna take it back on and put it on. So let's see what we can do. Ah, we have light. Look at this. Woohoo! We have light. We have light. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? It's beautiful. So I can shut this guy back off again. We'll test my highs. Make sure they're on. Yes, sir. We got lows, we got highs. We've got the whole nine yards here, folks. So, shut the car off. That, my friends, is a complete headlight job on my car. I got the headlight completely changed. Um, so this bulb, before I forget, this is the old bulb. I'm gonna, oh, maybe I can't. I'll throw it in the dumpster. I'll throw it in the trash with all the other stuff. Um, another thing I kind of got um, when I was down at the car parts store, I kind of got the idea. Um, a guy behind me in line was telling me, because I picked up an extra light, he says, uh, I should replace the other light. He goes, that's why you should replace your headlights at the same time. And then you just keep the headlight that still works. Um, like I'm throwing away the one that didn't work. But like I'm but like he's trying to say I should I should tear apart the left side and put my other new bulb in the left side and use it and then take the one that's currently in my left side and put it in the glove box and use it as a replacement which I kind of see the I kind of see why because then you got brand new headlights all the way around you don't have to worry about it burning out so I think I might do that um I think I might, I just, I think I might do that. It just means I'll have a headlight loose, I'll have the bulb loose like this guy. I won't have it in the packaging. But nothing says I can't put it in like a Ziploc bag or something and put it in my glove box. But I think I, that idea kind of stuck out to me. I thought that, that kind of makes sense um, because you don't have to worry about um, another bulb burning out before the other one or something like that. I mean, yeah, it'll probably still burn, one will probably still burn out before the other, but um, I think it just makes a good, it's a good idea um, just to make sure that it, they are kind of, they're brand spanking new, and I still have one that works as a spare, and then I can get uh, new ones as it goes. It was only like 31 bucks for both of those lights, so it wasn't too, too bad. Now the car is ready to rock and roll again. I, I'll be able to see fully at night again. And all that cool stuff so now I should be able to go with my dad tomorrow um, to help haul corn and work with the harvest for this guy 